sorry. It's okay. Oh, what'd you touch? Be able to just do it. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hi, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. For the first time, Yuna has slept an hour and a half, which is very, very, very rare in the morning, and I had to actually wake her up. So I was able to do some breathing exercises for my diastasis recti, and I was able to shower at the same time. We just talked to my mom, and she spit up everywhere, right onto my dress. Do I feel like changing? Probably not, but that's okay. That's okay. It's too hot to go outside, so today we're gonna maybe go to the store really quick across the street. Cause you're an M baby now. You fit into medium sized things and you need medium sized nipple because you're frustrated with your milk, huh? Tummy time! baby is in the crib right now. Hopefully she won't fuss during this moment, but I just want to thank our sponsor for today, Notion. I have been a Notion girl through and through, and I've been using Notion for a very long time. I used it for my business when I uh, was a coach, when I was doing coaching. I used it just for daily life. It's really great for work-related things. You can manage tasks. You can work with a team. You can do all sorts of things on here, and the best part is that they have templates for specific things, so if you're looking for something for managing your or, uh, money um, they have a template for that they have a template for daily tasks they have a template for organizing your you know meal planning and all of that stuff I was able to create my own setup on notion so everything's kind of in one place and I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a tour because the one thing that I realized as a mom is that you really have to be extra super duper organized and I think that's the hard part trying to stay super organized in general, I was never someone, I always wanted to be super organized, but I was never really good at being organized. So a little bit of my setup here, I have my life dashboard. So I have all of my goals here, um, my sales and revenue when it comes to AdSense and brand deals and things like that. Um, I have my daily tracker. These are like habit trackers, um, my goals for business, my goals, my three to 10 year goals. I have them all here and my Google calendar is connected to it, which is awesome. Um, I have my simple weekly planning. This planner is all of my planning for uh, body, diet. So this is all important for wellness and um, just getting back in, back on track. I also have my personal cash flow here. I'm not gonna show you that because that's personal obviously and that's where I budget my money. These used to be here for my business but um, I just wanted to show you what my dashboard looked like because I just wanna inspire you guys to download Notion as well. I love that it's just so customizable and that's what I really wanted was something that was super customizable, very aesthetic looking, you could add graphics graphics and colors and things like that. Add team members, like I said. So it's been such a great asset to my life and my business. And again, I'm just such an advocate for Notion. Out of all of the project management systems, this is something that I've always used and loved the most out of all of them. So please go click the link down below and download Notion today because I promise you that you will have all of your stuff together, your goals, your daily tasks, everything, as a mom, as a creator, who, whatever, whoever you are, whoever's watching this, I know a lot of you guys are moms. It's a great all-in-one space, so you can have everything together in one. I used to have so many different apps, and it was just crazy. I couldn't remember what to open, what to check, but when everything's in one place, it's just so much easier. And I'm not just saying that, because I am not very good at being organized. I'm not very tech-savvy either, and Notion is very easy to use, so. What do you think of this? Is this nice? Wow, it's a turtle, it's a crab, it's a submarine.
Heading out, running the errands. You're an M baby now. What do we do? M. I am going to try and put her in the bouncer. She's been not loving the bouncer lately. She wants to like sit up or be held or stand or something. Like she doesn't like to like lay down all day. I don't blame her. I am gonna cook some stir fry really quick. I was gonna do it yesterday. Yeah, that's gonna be our dinner tonight. So Mmm, you're bored. All right, so my camera died. I managed to cook these things, uh, which I kind of burnt. It's like a hamburger, a mini hamburger with like nankon on the outside, which is a root vegetable in Japan. Kimchi stir fry with like pork, kimchi, a bunch of vegetables. We have a salad and we have rice, so pretty healthy, pretty healthy meal. And she's been screaming at me the entire time and ended up pooping. And she just screams at me all day. So I feel guilty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cooking dinner accomplished. Yeah. get to wear this. Isn't this cute? We got this as a gift from somebody and look at the back of this. It's so cute. It's great for winter and it's like a little blanket. It zips up. Isn't this cute, Yunacha? You get to wear this someday. It's so cozy and, and soft and comfy. Can you tell mama about your jeans? You did a 360. What happened? You did a 360. You went around in a circle. <laughs> what happened, cutie? Look at all these toys. We need a toy box, first of all. Yeah, this is, she took over. This is Yuna's house now. This is Yuna's house. This is your house. This is your house.
Chan is awake! Yay! So I asked myself, what am I doing now in this season of life? And I feel like I'm not here anymore to really help others, really help people. I feel like I'm more here to inspire other people and by no means am I perfect at anything. I'm not like gonna be that guru that's like my perfect morning routine with my baby and things like that because that's just not real. It's not reality. I just, I mean, you can have a good morning routine. You can have a great life. You can have great times and days and things like that, but nothing is perfect. And I've always been an advocate for the perfectly imperfect life. And this is definitely a perfectly imperfect life as just being a mom. My goal is to just focus on content creating and focus on my baby, document her growing up and you know, the things that I'm going through in my life. And I've talked about this on my channel before, but I was really inspired to do YouTube because my family documented our lives growing up and my grandparents documented my parents' lives growing up. Well, at least my mom's side of the family. So video has always been a big part of our life. And so that inspired me to just, you know, start a channel and start documenting and things like that. And I think it just becomes one big beautiful story, especially when things aren't perfect. Cause I see a lot of like Instagrammers and, and things like that. Um, people who are sharing like the perfect relationship and the perfect, you know, daily routines and things, especially um, with other mothers. And you compare yourself a lot because you think, well, my routine is pretty much non-existent. Again, that doesn't mean that you can't have a routine, but have a flexible routine routine. That perfectly imperfect routine is what's going to allow you to feel so fulfilled and thrive in the end mentally, physically, spiritually, all those things. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, this flow, especially as a mom. My time is pretty much non-existent at the moment. So how can I incorporate these things in my mornings with my baby because it wasn't working in the beginning. I was trying to wake up before my baby, which is almost impossible with her. So what I really need to do is bring her along with me somehow. And is it easy? No, some days don't go as planned. Um, you're dealing with a human being right here. You have to figure out what works for you and your baby and how they respond to things. And it's all about trial and error, right? By the way, to show my imperfectness, I do feel a lot of mom guilt for not always playing with her and stimulating her 24 seven. Cause I, I, I always wanna make her feel happy and laugh and things like that. And right now I need to clean up this place and I feel bad because I'm not reading her a book or something. These emotions are so valid and they come up quite often. I have to remind myself that doesn't mean I'm a bad mom. You don't always have the mental capacity to entertain 24 seven, that's impossible. You as a human being, and they don't always understand. You know, I got clean up, is that okay? <laughs> Are you gonna say something? Are you gonna say something? You can talk to the camera too. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to show you this thing. Um, it's like a little backpack that babies wear from five months. And okay, okay, I'm explaining. And uh, you put it on their back so when they fall over, it catches them and it uh, keeps their head from hitting the hardwood floor. So we got this, it's super cute. It's like the shape of a bee. Thought it was really cute. They had different ones, but I like this one the best. So this is for you, Yuna-chan. So you don't bump your head. So you don't bump your head. Just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <gasps> ah! I'm looking at the camera. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do I'm gonna look at the camera. Say hi. Okay, let's start the bed. Yeah, there you go, you 
can grab your feet. Up <laughs> and down. Look at you on your belly, huh? You're so strong. 